the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. tonight Stephen Tomahawk Townsell. Steve you have been waiting for this fight for a very long time how do you feel tonight sir I feel amazing uh, it's been a long time coming uh, I'm glad we got it in we're done with it it's on to the next how did it feel for you to have to wait so long tell the fans about how many times this fight was scheduled last year in 2022 so we've actually signed this contract four times Two times were because of the issues with him. The third one was because the Delray Beach car. This car was the last and final card. I mean, it's been a long road, um, but finally we're here and uh, I took care of business. <laughs> How does that affect you mentally as a fighter when the fights keep on getting postponed? Um, so I you keep moving, you keep working. The thing is, it slows down my progress, man. We get paid by fight. The payment isn't the money. It's the wins per the fight so I can move forward into my career. Um, I feel like there's a big fight coming up soon uh, with Houston Alexander and, and Jeremy Smith. I feel like that was my fight, but I'm here. I took care of this one, and we're on to the next. Did Sora do anything that surprised you in the fight tonight? He showed up. <laughs> but, no, on the real, listen, man, Sora is actually a really good guy. He's a fighter. It takes a lot to step in here and do what we do. Don't think that it's something easy. Not anybody can do it, man. Nothing but absolute respect goes out to him. Um, you know, I couldn't have did this without him, so. It looked like he might have sustained a broken jaw at the end of the fight. You were in there. Do you know what happened? I broke his jaw. <laughs> like, that's, that's the gist of it. I mean, that's the sport that we're in. I caught him with a clean left. Um, I was setting it up. I switched over to orthodox on him one time, kind of confused him a little bit, switched back to southpaw, stepped to the side, caught him with that big uh, left. I feel like your stepping left hand was the key to your success. I mean, you are a southpaw. Southpaw is, is really, it's, it's just something. So, I'm a, listen, I'm a right-handed southpaw. I fight backwards. This is what I do backwards. Um, so it, it is the key to my success. I feel really strong with my right up front. It's very calculated, but yeah. It's... You know, fans, we've got to roll some video now because Steve and I go way back to when he was an amateur at Rise of a Warrior. And you know, it's funny. I knew you were going to be a star then. How have you changed as a fighter since that amateur fight so many years ago? Uh, everything has changed. Uh, I, I've taken a couple losses that were the wins in my career. If you've not ever lost anything, then you don't know what it feels like to do it, to, to lose, and you'll never get any better. I took those losses early. My coaching is absolutely amazing with Byron Zamora and Eric Stanos, which is El Tigre. These guys have completely molded and changed everything that I do. I just follow directions. That's it. It's as simple. I did good. I did that good in school, so it was easy to do as a coach. Who do you want next? I want anybody in the top five. I'd call out Lorenzo. Everybody could have calls that guy out. There's a line to him. Just know that I'm coming for you. Before we go tonight, any friends, family, or sponsors you'd like to thank? Oh, man, I got a huge list of sponsors, man. Uh, you put me on the spot. I'm going to go in Zane Inc., uh, Sky Sale Home Groups, uh, Kiki Momo Cigars, uh, Art Drywall and Design, um, First Step Realty, <laughs> Ground Sports, Condemned Labs. Condemned Labs, you guys, they have powered me through this entire thing. EBM Media, check this out. Here you go, hold on. Butt shot. Make sure you get a little bit of everything, guys. <laughs> Woo, baby, looking good tonight. Uh, also, my daughters, Isabella, Stevie and Cheyenne, Daddy loves you. Don't ever forget that. What a great fight tonight for you. A long-awaiting win for you. Your daughters must be so proud. I know it's an emotional evening for you tonight, but I want to thank you and tell you that I'm proud of you. I'm proud to have the opportunity to know you from an amateur to this big win. It gives me goosebumps. I know you guys think I'm crazy. And I want to wish you good luck, and I can't wait to see you again in the squared circle.
Don't make me cry. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. For Bandico News, I'm Susan Singari, and this is Steve Tomahawk Townsend. And I mean, remember this. And remember, Steve, no one, no one beats us to the punch.